and we're live. Welcome to episode 002 of Sunday from the Studio, a live hangout show that takes a little bit more focus and tries to focus you and give you a little more uh, ideas for tips and tutorials, actual painting videos, that kind of thing. Uh, this is a live show. You can ask questions at any time uh, during the live event or even afterwards. I'll try and get back to you after, after that single point. Uh, for this episode, I'm working on a piece uh, that I'm basing off of a photograph. You can find that photograph both on my DeviantArt page and my uh, Facebook fan page, both of which I uh, have a link to right from the channel. Now, what I've already done so far is I've laid out my sky and a little bit uh, with my horizon. can't really see that right now, but uh, we'll get out of that later. I've worked on getting uh, my upper clouds taken care of, so I'm not really reaching in front of the camera. And I'm just sort of work on uh, sort of this upper middle cloud. Uh, I'll be working on that. As people tend to come in, I'll be uh, narrating, showing you guys what I'm doing, and give you a little more in-depth tutorials uh, in real time on the kind of ways that I do my work. Now, a lot of times you'll see me working in sort of a more simplest, simplistic style. Today this is uh, much more closer to uh, what you find in the uh, piece that would consider realism, which is a little outside of my uh, normal painting forte, but in this case, you know, it just gives you a nice balance and a nice way to go. I've got uh, my Filbert brush. This is uh, an 18, but in the previous episode I mentioned how the numbers on the brushes really don't make any difference whatsoever. Uh, the colors I'm using for the time being, uh, to start out, I've got my glass palette. Switch my camera back. The colors I have laid out are some bright white, some zinc white, quinacridone magenta, phthalo green, hansi yellow medium, some deep black, and a two to one mixture of phthalo blue and uh, Prussian blue. Now, it's currently 9 in the morning right now. Uh, probably not going to be a lot of uh, guests on the show tonight, uh, this morning. People are just getting up in the morning. And I have to say that uh, I actually could not sleep last night because I was so excited to, to do the live show this morning that I just I, I stayed up and I'm very, very tired right now. So, I'm going to switch out my lower thirds since it's saying going live at 9 and it's already 9 so switch that in a second here I'm just filling out the, the form of the cloud right now and getting all my basic shapes taken care of. Uh, if I ever stop talking for a minute and you see me looking down it's because I'm looking back at the screen monitoring comments and uh, checking my reference photo. But mostly I'll be checking my reference photo. Right now I'm just applying some of that bright white. I don't know if I said it was bright white or titanium white, but it's, in this case it's bright white. So I'm getting little sections here. Now if you would like to see me work on the background of this uh, piece, there's a recent hangout uh, on the channel Tyler's Art Shack. You can check that out with his channel uh, where I did uh, uh, the main part of the sky. I didn't really explain it at all because I was just hanging out. I didn't want to dominate his, his channel with my own uh, demonstrations. So that's just the uh, point of watching me, not the point of me explaining this. All right. So, laid out the basic form on that cloud. Check back with you guys on the far side. Roll open the comments. Brown Brush Steve is in the house. All right.
All right. So. Need to find my rag. Today I'm using mainly two rags. One which is just an old t-shirt. The other is a piece of uh, scrap canvas. Both of work, which work very well. As the rags, and you don't have to be real specific with your rags. Okay. So let me check back to the photo and see just what we need to do to really bring this cloud, cloud to life. I'm actually going to go into my zinc void a little bit. Get sort of that zinc white uh, is a transparent white uh, rather than the uh, a bright or a titanium white that will really give you some nice coverage. The zinc white will have a little bit more uh, under color show through. Apply that down to some of these edges. I'm going to mix the two of them a little bit. That bright and the zinc white. Put in a one to one ratio there. And at some point uh, this morning, I'm probably going to have to go eat breakfast. Uh, so I imagine about a half hour I'll be gone for like five, to five or ten minutes where I'm eating. status and then I'll be done and back just like that. I'm actually able to, because I put had a nice thick layer of paint up on the upper side of this, I'm able to really loop it back around and grab some extra paint if I need to. Because the problem with uh, painting too thin is that you know you don't have that extra paint to work in right off of the canvas. I'm going to round out these upper edges of the cloud. I'm going to grab a nice thick blob of paint on the end of my brush there to do so. Really building the texture on, on the canvas here too. And what helps with the Felber brush, right? brush is sort of a round edge to it so you can get those sort of round forms in the clouds. I'm not sure if you guys could hear the fan going on behind uh, the camera. If it's knowing, do say so. It's just there to blow some, uh, some hot air my way. Since it's now snowing outside, which is fantastic. It couldn't have, weather couldn't have waited until December. You know, make me at least a little bit happy. Okay, now a common problem that a lot of people have with clouds that they just put this white layer on and then stop. They don't add their shadow layers in. And uh, they tend to forget uh, that, you know, when you see a cloud in the sky, you see some variance in the white, not just a plain white. So in order to give this cloud a little depth, I'm going to go in to my black belt just a tiny little bit. It's actually dry, so I shouldn't have to grab too much at all. Uh, just to kind of tone down the white ever so slightly. And I'm going to go into my blue mixture, which is actually left over from last week. I picked, used some uh, uh, molding paste, which actually works as a uh, acrylic extender as long as you don't add uh, too much paste to too little paint. It won't uh, tint it as much. Uh, the molding paste will act sort of as a white and pastel color out, 
that is, if you would add uh, more uh, more of the paste to the paint. But if you have uh, a smaller ratio of uh, paste to paint, you get more of just sort of an expanded color rather than just uh, just a. Uh, I'm losing my train of thought. I apologize. Uh, more of a. No idea what I was going to say now. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I lost it. <laughs> totally lost it. Something about tinting down the color so it's not too strong. And with realism, you don't want a, a really strong color. Give me the main Give me a second. So the color I've got is sort of a mix of uh, the blue and the white, and a little bit of the black. I'm also, oh, I'm actually a little bit too blue here, I'm trying to tone it down a little, or tint it up rather. Yeah, tone it down, tint it up, it's all the same. And uh, I've got a lot of that color on my brush, but I'm not going to need anywhere near that much. I'm going to grab another. It's a round brush. Not to be confused with round brush, too. I'm going to be just adding a little bit of color at a time and blending that in with my other hand. It's a sort of ambidextrous uh, painting. So I've got to sort of flip back my uh, reference. Sort of tacking that on. And I got some water on, on the brush, still, so I'll be able to blend that in real subtly. And a lot of people talk about, oh, I don't like using acrylics because uh, you don't get to blend the same way. And the truth is, well, you don't. And you shouldn't think about it as blending in the same way as, as it's like oil paints or something like that. Working slowly, though, and being able to get uh, colors down differently and, and blending. Smaller areas at a time are really what acrylics are about. You know, being able to work in layers and, and so smaller increments really is is a freedom, and it's it's harder to to manage that if you're not used to it. So we figure our light source is coming from two of those imaginary areas. Area up on the right, excuse me. And, uh, we're looking down. We're, we're looking out and uh, we see sort of these shadows underneath the clouds. The texture I'm working from is a, is a snapshot, or a panoramic snapshot, rather, of a, a view from Rocky Mountain National Park. It's called a Rainbow Curve. I'm not really sure why off the top of my head, but. Whatever, and with rainbow curve, you get, you know, you're you're at a high higher altitude, so you see you know, low stuff. You're looking down into, you know, what you normally think is ground level uh, from a, a higher surface. So you get to see look, looking both looking up at the clouds and looking out at the clouds it gives you a really different vantage point from a higher altitude. So in order to sort of replicate that piece. 
good to do and sort of see under the clouds a little bit as well as sort of together with them. And the, you notice the blue I add in here, it's, it's very subtle. It's not uh, a real dominant color or anything. And then, now that my, I'm using my little bit more it's just a little bit different color than as I need to. With sort of the grayish blue tone, you can get that more relaxed sky and has that sort of a sh real sort of a shadow cloud kind of look. Sort of blending that back in. The trick is just to do that with you know every cloud as I go along. couple areas, not every section of these clouds are going to be about the same. Now I've reached uh, this area where I have these clouds sort of sitting, and they just kind of look like they're sitting over the sky. They don't really look like they're floating in it. And like what I did up here, I'll be able to go in with uh, my blue color and sort of blend those back into the sky a little bit. And I'm using my blue color as my gray in this instance. I'm just going to fix up some of these a little bit. Are a little bit too blue, which is hard to say with a, a sky like this because once you reach uh, a higher altitude, you can see through the atmosphere more and you see much more of these blue tones. The cool thing about uh, being in the mountains is that you see that the sky really is this blue. Uh, it's not just about, oh, this is completely unrealistic. It's unrealistic if you live in the city and everything's washed out with uh, fog and smog and haze and everything. But, uh, if you're able to get out far enough, you can see just how uh, brilliant the sky colors really can be. I imagine by about 10 o'clock or so, we won't see uh, some people starting to show up. Uh, a few guests for the live show today. Again, like I said earlier, it's a morning thing. Uh, just might be way too excited. Probably starting this earlier than I should have. grab sort of that light blue, a little more into our darker original blue color. To get some of that in. Lay that again underneath these clouds here. Put it on the opposite edge of wherever they're at. On our side of here maybe a little bit. Just a wet brush. 
flash now. Lightning, my man. I'm back to the sky. Have to get a little more light and I'll attach them to the clouds again here. Once my paint's already dry. A little bit of that white still on my brush, didn't rinse it all the way. So I'm gonna pull them in together here. Totally missed a spot there. Pretty consistent. Now we go into the again much larger cloud here. So be a bit jumpiness on my straighter. We're getting to a better connection. Okay, I'm actually going to have to scoop out a little more white under my palette since I've been dipping it in the blue and every other color. This is just a jar of uh, medium bodied white. And generally speaking, I mentioned this I think last week. Is that uh, the white you can actually get away with doing uh, a lighter body paint because you don't um, because you use it so much and you usually don't use it for the same kind of thicker applications that you would in certain other pieces. And just like I did before, pretty much just starting out with the basic form of the cloud and getting just the space filled, really. So just low on, load on some color. White's not a color. Yeah, it is. Don't believe anyone who says white's not a color. Unless you're talking about light, white's a color. Hands down. It's just the way it is. So if you're an artist or a painter or whatever, your colors are coming from pigments. So, let's see. It's not different. And uh, if, if you're noticing right now that maybe my sentences aren't really complete, that's again because I know. It's insomnia, I can't sleep, and my mind is, is getting to the point where it's getting harder to work.
And for those of you out there that don't really, really understand insomnia, insomnia is the point where you lay down and, and in bed and close your eyes, and your mind is basically still shouting at you to, to think about things and, and to work and to do anything but sleep. Uh, it's like you're, you're tired and you lay down, like, okay, I want to go to sleep. And your mind's like, hey, let's do something. And you just, you have to get up and do something. And for me, it's usually something in the range of browsing YouTube for uh, just something I can find to be inspirational. I was going through a lot of different kinds of music uh, last night, or this night, or this morning, or whatever you want to call it. Everything from calm stuff to exciting, jumpy stuff. Kind of really get me in the mood to, to work on this painting, too. Again, since I don't really do <coughs> realism all that much, it's harder to get into a piece like this. But truth be told, I've actually been wanting to work on this all week, and it just happens. Until today. So I wanted uh, to show you guys more of the process. And, uh, so things sort of took a back seat. I'm just going to dip into my zinc white <coughs> to fill out this middle section because I don't need to cover any blue. I can <coughs> get away with that. <coughs> Excuse me, transparent white. And the interesting thing about uh, this particular piece is a lot, like, I don't know, more than half of this piece is the sky, so you really want to work on the sky and make sure that uh, what you're working on is, is quality enough that, that don't match everything else in the piece. I had a teacher that talked about painting being you know, like a story, and the story in this case is, is the uh, really more about the clouds and the way it's sort of flow, flowing and working the way around. Actually, looking right now, I don't really like the way a lot of these fluttery clouds are sitting. I'm probably going to do something about that down the road, but I'm not entirely sure what yet. Until I can figure that out, we're just going to let it go. White again. I keep forgetting I'm working on. Oh, that would have been bad. I keep forgetting I'm working on a, a bigger canvas than I have in uh, recent months, and I just need more paint to really fill my space. Should be cutting some of the stuff with a knife. The knife for the time being. Throw some paint on there. And then just work it right off the canvas. This is the, one of the interesting things is that you can mix your paint on your palette, or you can, if you're really feeling ballsy, you can mix it right on the canvas. In this case, I'm not really mixing, I'm just throwing paint on the canvas. Since it's only one color. Really, there's no specific place thing in, in any books to say you have to you know, mix paint on your palette. You can mix paint really wherever you want.
symbol here, not there. I probably should have picked a, a more simpler sky in retrospect, but Generally speaking, you just have to work around that. Until I didn't even map this cloud out beforehand on the uh, right here. Alright. That just about covers the forms. Go in, you know, again, uh, there's little bits of detail. Sort of a little bit of a whitish blue mix. Just a little bit more. Now we're done with I'm done with Colbert. I'm just gonna, gonna go right in with our round. Pulling a lot more of these clouds around and pulling them into that blue just like we did before. Let's see if we can't zoom in a little bit for you guys. And that's probably a little bit uh, far away. Not sure if I can zoom or not. Let me see. Okay, I can't move, however. Let's turn it. We move up a little bit. See more of the top. Losing the signal here. This way. Closer. There we are. That's quite much better. Kind of see things a little better. Actually, it's a little bit. Difference. Not really. Alright, enough playing around. Back to the actual work.
trick here is going to be to work on getting some of these shadows beforehand. Getting each little bit of the cloud to really... The student's not just, you know, one cloud, it's sort of these little different clouds, and they're working the other, sort of, to appear to be one. Fast because things are really set to dry. I was really got to pull my color and work into the clouds. We'll probably grab a little white if we need to. Probably should have been doing this a little bit faster, but. So a belated Happy Thanksgiving to all of you, even if you're not in the U.S., Happy Thanksgiving anyway. Because you deserve it. Everyone deserves to be thankful. Slightly off tone to what my uh, sky is, to try and match that a little bit. Let's see where we can get back to. There's some of these lower clouds. So I'm sort of just sitting on top. Actually, this color is pretty close. It's sort of this lighter side of the world. Okay, let's see what we did here. Get some weird snags here on the Alright, we're going to go into the zinc white. I'm running into some things where I, I'm already thinking I should have done something different in order to get these clouds to where they need to be. So, I'm not going to worry about it. Part of the artistic process is about creative problem solving. As you see something change, or something you maybe didn't want to do that way, it's like, okay, how are we going to fix it? How are we going to rectify it and still make it look alright? 
One thing I love about the, the zinc white color is you can do much more subtle stuff with it. Just, you know, really be able to play around with color and, and the way things sort of play out. I can do these more faded cloud areas with the zinc white and not have to really worry about too much. So if you're just joining me this morning, welcome to episode two of Sunday from the studio. A little more uh, uh, it's it's a if you're if you're new to the series, it's a, a hangout with a little more focus. And uh, if you're here joining and after watching from last week and you're back, welcome back. I am extremely tired right now because I, I woke woke up because I was way too excited to do this and now I'm kind of paying for it greatly. In the comments we have uh, a few people here today. We, got some, we have Dee, Mason, and, and Marcus, Johnson, Dalton. <laughs> Is it titanium white? It is bright white, which is basically titanium white. I'm not sure if it's a pigment. Yeah, it is. It's titanium white pigment. It's just the color in bright white because it's medium bodied and not uh, heavy body. Excuse me. Yeah, so like I said, very, very tired this morning. Don't know how I'm going to run this hangout for. Probably, oh, probably not past like 11.30 or 12. Let's see. Let's go in with a hard, uh, stiffer brush. Take the neck, go into the zinc white for this one too. I really just want to scrub in and do some more, some dry brush sort of techniques here. Especially with the lower side of these. Lower side of these clouds. Really just kind of scraping into the canvas with, with the paint. I'm trying not to change the, the shape of the clouds. So I am just sort of extending the edges a little bit. I don't know how well you can see the this more subtle tone variations in the piece right now. But uh, they're there, so just I guess you just have to trust me. Sometimes things don't always show up on camera quite like they do for the human eye.
This is definitely much more of what I sort of have in mind with this cloud now. It's getting back to what I, closer to what I envisioned for the piece. Again, it's sort of just pulling that color in a little bit. I'm actually going to go up here and do that a little bit here so the, the piece balances so I don't have some here and some there. That's the other thing, sort of changing the te techniques a little bit halfway through to make sure the rest of your piece, piece sort of matches that. That's one thing that I uh, I made that mistake early on when I started painting, and, uh, even up when I had been painting for a while, and I still I started changing things halfway through, and then all of a sudden you get half a piece that's done one way and half a piece that's done the other way. Kind of confuses the viewer a little bit. May not be real conscious, and it's sort of maybe a subconscious confusion, but nonetheless, it is there. <laughs> you guys are awesome. So I'm using both whites at this point. Um, I said I was just kind of using the zinc white, but anytime you see something get a little darker, that's the that's the bright or titanium white. Whatever you want to call it, it's all the same. All the same pigment. That's one thing too. If you're looking at the different paints and different brands, and uh, sort of talked about this last week, but about the variations of, of paint color between brands, what what you want to look for if you're really being particular is just the pigments. And on the back of uh, every paint, it should tell you uh, the pigments used to create that particular color. So if you see a, a color shift, like I think I'm actually going to check right now. Because I know two of my hookers grades between brands are different. I just want to see the pigment. Uh, yes, the uh, the Utrecht uh, hookers green hue versus the uh, hookers green hue permit in 
uh, Liquitex are different because of the different uh, pigments they use. Uh, pigment in the Utrex is thalo green, iron oxide yellow, and iron oxide red, and the other one is uh, two that I pretty much can't even begin to pronounce. So, uh, check your pigments, especially if you're switching between brands of a color on the same piece, which I'm not doing here, but for the sake of, uh, the, sake of the, uh, of the, uh, the show today, I'm just bringing that up. Thanks, guys, for tuning in this morning, and thanks for your appreciative comments. Despite my uh, lack of mental capacity, and uh, I'm actually surprised I'm able to focus this much right now. But I think that's the thing about painting for me is that it sort of takes takes all this stuff away, and uh, whatever you're, you're thinking about, or, or not even not thinking about really just set you free and, and let you explore the world. I mean, when I'm working on a painting, I don't really think about much of anything except I have to get this cloud right, I have to get this whatever uh, perfect. It's just about you know, being in the moment and seizing the day, if you will. Just to get the right section of the color of the section of the piece. I don't know why I didn't think about this dry brush thing earlier. It's obviously bugging me now. <laughs> I didn't do this on some of this other upper parts out here. Okay, so my clouds are, I guess, pretty close to done here. I'm going to need a little more shadowing in the, in the main cloud here. I just add a, add a little bit of the blue before, but I'll need to add a little bit of that gray tone and blend that back in together. I'm going to just check my reference photo a little bit. See just what I need to do to get it at least closer to where I was. I mean, that's not going to be anywhere near spot on. I'm obviously not going to remotely try to pretend to get it that way, because it's already, you know, pretty far off, to be honest with you. But uh, the thing about drawing or painting is you're not capturing the, the actual uh, form in every single line, every single detail. You're capturing more of the essence of what makes uh, a piece great, and in this case, if we go from a photograph, you know, you have the artistic license to change a little bit here and there. Especially in a picture like this one that I'm going from, which I took myself, so I have every right to, to change it how I see fit. Uh, Mason, I think, earlier mentioned Bob Ross, and I think a lot of what I'm saying here is sort of, I guess, in his spirit, if you will. Sort of this, you're, you're painting in your own little world and you can do whatever you want. That's subliminal messaging to me because I, I grew up watching Bob Ross and I fell asleep on the couch with, with his show on from time to time. So if, if it sounds like I'm just repeating what, whatever he said over, over the course of, know, what is it, like 20 years, um, then I probably am. But it's, it's definitely worth being said again. It's worth being. Uh, taught to a different generation, and uh, just only a, a, a limited range of people that even sort of really know about Bob, about Bob Ross. And, uh, and I know who's, who's this guy everyone's always talking about. You know, everyone has the, has the right to, to see a, an artist that inspires them, and, and um, uh, that's sort of their 
you know, main inspiration, you know, I think as a uh, as a as a young artist, I think one of the coolest things is, especially uh, doing the stuff on YouTube, is to be able to to hear somebody say, "Hey, you're an inspiration to me," and I think that's to me that's it's it's flattering. It's it's really incredible to think that my work can have an influence on, on somebody the way somebody else had somebody else's work had an influence on, on the way I do my work as well. And uh, if anyone decides to join, by the time I uh, either get too tired to do this hangout or uh, just decide to end it, I was getting uh, so far in the piece. I did want to talk about you know, where your inspirations come from. And uh, I don't even know if I have a sheet down here with all my questions. I think I left it upstairs. But um, it was something along the lines of uh, taking uh, enough from your own inspirations and, and, and who, who it is that inspires you. And, that kind of thing, and if you if you if you visit my DeviantArt page, there's a my on on the on the, well, the home page of my DeviantArt without taking too much, you'll see a folder called uh, General Cool Inspiring Stuff, and those are things that I find uh, to be inspiring things that uh, jump out at me as, as being something different. If if you're ever curious on uh, what makes sort of my mind tick, that's a good place to start. I'm actually really excited that I'm, I'm close to being done with these clouds. I know I keep saying that, but I keep adding little bits here and there. It's nice to do just to have this fan on. My, my paint, even on my palette, is drying faster than usual. And, uh, I'm actually being a little bit bothered by it. I might actually turn the fan on. As much as, it, as much as it is blowing some nice warm air towards me. It's already nice and warm down here now. It was like, I don't know, probably like 50 down here yesterday. Just, I don't know, it gets colder, so that little bit of an extra chill, and you're like, eh, can I turn the heater on? Please let me turn the heater on. David MC was in here for just a bit. I apologize if I'm boring you guys a little too much. Just see if anyone else is in. Tyler from Tyler's Art Shack, who was interested in that he's got his webcam working on. Huh? All right, I got to add this uh, last little bit of shadows in my black. I think it's completely gone. I'm just going to add a little bit more. This is deep black, which is a mix of Mars black and ivory black. If I'm using just regular black out of the tube, which I don't have a tube of black currently, um, it will be Mars black. Uh, I mentioned last week that I prefer Mars over ivory black because ivory black lasts you dry to a little bit of a, a shine. For a lot of different things, that's really bad. All right, so let me go back to my small round brush. I don't need very much of that black, just to, enough to sort of wet the area, make sort of a gray tone, and a little bit of that blue. I'm actually going to add a little bit of this uh, of yellow that I have sitting here as well. Not enough to make anything green, but enough to uh, add a little bit of a different tone to it. 
mat at this point is to match what I'm going to be working into my uh, lower side of the landscape. Actually, looks it does look a little bit green, but not the end of the world. And again, that's more from uh, my mind on what I need to do with the piece and not coming out of uh, not coming out of the photo. So in just a little bit, we'll be joined by Tyler from Tyler's Art Shack. Uh, he's messing around with some things with his computer and uh, bound to show up uh, oh, within, oh, I don't know, I can't even, I can't even get, give you a gauge, I don't want to prematurely get to like, oh, he's going to be here in however long. He won't be. <laughs> so just uh, be patient, guys, and uh, an additional guest. I'm not an additional guest, I'm, I'm not, I don't count as a guest. I have an additional face in here, besides me. Not that you can really see my face after this time this morning, but you know. I'm, I'm just rambling now. Ignore me. As you see fit. Don't ignore the, ignore the helpful tips, but... You know. Whatever you want to do. Let the brush a little. Oh. Now my, my shadows are just sort of random with this, so I need to work back in with the bright white to kind of figure out where I want the edges of those to be. into the cloud and set it on top of the cloud. And again, I don't know how much you can see, but you know, have all these little dark tones in here. Probably have to add a little bit of that color that I just made into the, again the other cloud. Add that little bit of yellow to it. Uh, I don't want to create uh, a huge offset, but enough to make the rest of the piece more uniform. We have the feeling whenever I go to sell this piece it's going to be a lot more expensive than uh, a lot of other things I'm doing just because of the sheer time I'm putting into this one. Much like uh, Fire Mountain, the uh, painting I did last week. Just uh, the time I did on all those little parts of the sky. Uh, just really something else.
it's really important to, to just take a step back. Like right now, I'm about, I'm about as far as I can get from uh, the canvas now without my headphone jack pulling out, which is, I guess, about uh, two and a half feet or so. At least my eye view from the canvas. So I can look back and, and, and move around and make sure the, the glare of the overhead light isn't uh, obscuring any detail that I need to see or anything like that. Things happening up here that I'm rounding back out. And that's pretty close. Um, I'm sure I'll be touching up uh, here and there, but that's probably about as much I'm going to do on the clouds for now. As I say, but keep working on the clouds. So if you want to consider a point where the clouds are done, this is probably about as close as you're going to see as being done before I sign the piece. So take a good look. <laughs> a little more work on the lower ones. Thanks. That's about it. Zoom back out. And Tyler should be in. Who wants the next few minutes? Hello there, uh, Hera. I'm wondering if uh, where the shine comes from my work. If you're talking about the shine in the videos, uh, generally speaking, uh, it's from a big overhead light and it's just shy on the fact that it's wet. Uh, if you're looking at the pieces after the fact, uh, again, it's somewhat just the way acrylic is and the acrylic medium, it shines in the light. Or if you're looking at a piece that I've since sprayed, I also do a double layer or no, triple layer, excuse me, a gloss coat sealer at the finish of every piece. So regardless of which point in the process, it could be anything from uh, light shining on the wet paint to light shining on the dry paint, just being a thicker area that causes a little bit of shine through some light or, or whatever, or it could be uh, a piece that I took a picture of and uh, you see the shininess of the, uh, the, the gloss coat at the end. Let me open up my camera's control panel and zoom back out. Toss the camera back down a little. So I can work on my horizon. I already started working on the horizon a little bit. I got uh, sort of a distant uh, mountain in there, which is basically just a, sort of the same color I was using with the, the clouds, only without the, the little bit of yellow added, sort of this bluish gray color. Those really distant mountains that kind of fade into the back and, and through the haze. <coughs> this particular. Uh, this particular photo was taken uh, at a time where there was some, actually some distant fires, and what, you're, what I'm seeing in the photograph isn't really haze, it's actually uh, some smoke. When you're looking at it, it really just looks all the same. So I gotta make sure I still have some color here to work with. That's right, I'm gonna turn that fan off. Totally forgot. Um, 
just blowing like right under my palette and drying all my colors. Also had these little bits of paint out for oh in the range of about an hour and a half now, so things are kind of good. So I still have a little bit of that green that's wet. And I need more yellow and I need more of that magenta. Alright. Now the Hansa Yellow Medium is a color that I'm actually working on getting away from because what is, is cause similar to Zinc White is a, is a highly transparent uh, color. And for covering... Oh, that's pretty much the end of that color. Didn't really squeeze out that much, but whatever. In fact, I throw the tube away. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, uh, the, the it does spread across areas, and if you're work, working on it uh, on a sunset or something like that, you're not going to get the same spread that you would mm, with uh, the color of, uh, of an opaque yellow, like a, a cad yellow, like I use now. And do I want any ochre? No, I don't really want any ochre. Uh, okay, a little bit of yellow ochre. Uh, which I'm probably just going to mix with white down the road here to get sort of a sandy gray look. So, what do I want to do with my brush? I want a flat brush. Or do I even want a flat brush? I want something smaller, though. Got a stiffer flat brush. Stiffer, ch cheaper, and uh, cheaper. That I should, think should work fine. I'm going to grab my painting knife, though. Mix up a good color. <clears throat> so judging from my photograph, I need sort of a, a dark greenish blue that I'm also able to fade in with the white in order to get the uh, sort of background of the mountains. So I'm going to start with my phthalo green. Add a tiny little bit of black. Blue color, which is actually almost dry. Getting a little bit filmy. A tiny little bit of yellow ochre. Not like really changing the color all that much. I want to add a little more black than just a little bit of black. Blue, though. A little bit of magenta to sort of tone us into the middle. I'll take about half of this color and mix it with white. See generally where I'm at. Sort of have a grayish mint, which isn't quite right, but we'll see what I can do with that to start. If nothing else, it'll be a base color that I can work off of and layer some other things right on top of. So, more black maybe. Poker. Black. Blue. That's better. I don't think I had quite enough blue at first there. All right, so uh, yes, it is a very tall canvas. This is a twelve by thirty-six. And I was curious. I wasn't sure if I was going to do a a wide pan or a tall pan. When I was looking back through my photos from the trip, I. Uh, I saw this one and I was like, you know what, this, and, and with this, some 
I, I narrowed it down to a couple, and I asked uh, I asked Tyler about them. Like, what do you think about these two? He's like, I like the taller one. You don't see that as much. And I'm like, okay, I think I'll go with the taller one then. So. I'm actually going to talk my lower thirds off, and I heard a ding. We are joined by Tyler. I'm here. Let me fix everything. I got that, I got that, that. Should be good. Alright. Just making sure everything's the correct settings. The microphone works okay. You're in. And you're doing fine, so relax. Well, you know, I just got to check make sure everything's working the way it's supposed to. Right, right. All right, I need to be over here. Oh, my God. I got to fix this other monitor. My second computer's monitor is terrible. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, oh, all right. It's way too dark. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so funny. Uh, you know, before we had Carol Mazangian. And now there's a Tyler's art stack. What? I didn't see that. It's in the, the comments right now. I, I, I Yeah, I saw the comment on it yesterday on one of my uh, videos, and I'm like, yay, my first poser. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. I don't, I don't know who is... Uh... It's, probably, it's probably Meryl. You know it's probably Meryl. <laughs> Meryl. Yeah, yeah, you know, it might be. I don't know. I saw him online earlier. It could, it very well could be. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if it was Meryl. That guy, I don't know. He doesn't surprise me anymore. Well, he's he's pulled out a lot of tricks, so if it wouldn't surprise me, let's put it that way. <laughs> hmm. I don't feel as tired now. You feeling? Yeah, you stayed up all night. <laughs> Almost. Why? I don't know. I was excited to do this, and it just screwed with me. Oh boy! Gonna love that. Yeah. So this is gonna be an interesting day. So, like, you didn't sleep at all, or what? I I slept for like two hours. I was saying earlier, I'm like. My mind, my mind, you lay down. Well, I was basically explaining insomnia for people who didn't really get insomnia. Which is essentially you lay down and you close your eyes and your mind says, hey, let's do something. Uh, in a nutshell, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Alright, mind, I'll get up and I'll do something. I'll have something yeah. to eat and go back to bed and, and it didn't work. And it just... It's, you're screwed. <laughs> right. I'll have my USB cable attached to my camera. That's not going to work. Woo. Uh, yeah, USB. Disconnect. There we go. Yeah, I can see the... Uh, Focus and one that's going nuts on the camera. <laughs> well, that happens. Well, that's that's the first thing I turn off is the autofocus on the webcam. Yeah. Come on. Did you get the software to work? <laughs> nope. I uh, left them a support ticket, so we'll see how many months it takes them to. Fix. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna keep this thing from shaking here. So I haven't seen JJ all morning, so yeah. 
must be away or something. He's usually up. My camera lens is, there we go. It was a bit dirty. And it keeps going out of focus here. No. Not my, well, my webcam too, but this one especially. All right. Auto focus off. There we go. I was looking up some reference images and didn't really find too much for the minute I was looking, and then I found that my uh, sound card was crapping out again. Oh man! Uh, it, it the worst thing is you get this these new things like technology, and you find that it's really good. They work really well. But the drivers and software is absolutely terrible. Oh yeah, they spend so much time getting the uh, the hardware right, and then just like don't do a shit with the software. Yeah. Happened my printer, I think. <laughs> yeah, I know you're telling me about that. Oh my god. Wait, uh, last month all of a sudden decided decided to stop wanting to scan directly to my computer because it's it's a wireless uh, printer scanner thing. And I went to print last night. I went to to, to to print last night and then said, oh, a communication not available. So I was like, fantastic. Right. I, I don't think I've ever had a printer that worked well for a longer, for like a real long period of time. I've you never had work, so just one. like, forget it. The only printers I've had had a direct USB connect. I mean, I've I've had those too, but they always end up farting out after a while. Yeah, I just had one. I got it at a garage sale for fifteen dollars. I've been using it for the past three years, and all of a sudden it decides to get this weird error. I yeah. looked it up online, and they say you have to take the whole thing apart oh, wow. and like fix something in it, either clean a little itty bitty part or something. It's <laughs> like. I, I think that the company makes that problem, and it make the, they make it happen after so many years, just that you have to buy a new one. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. That's what a lot of companies do. They make products to last for X amount of years, and that way you, you get another one. I mean, how else are they going to make money? If they make products that lasted 50 years, uh, how are they going to make their money? So, I mean, they got to do something. I don't know. Ford seemed to do well. <laughs> Right, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see. I'm looking for a cool image here. Something that's inspiring. Yeah. It takes, it takes me. Sometimes it takes me like three weeks to figure some out something. But... Yeah. I know it does. I woke up around nine, went on YouTube, um, and it said you were like, streaming. Oh, okay, I was yeah. like, was like, oh, oh. like ah, okay, <laughs> already, okay, right, yeah. So I was just like, I figured if I waited, I would just like be asleep then. I just really wouldn't even want to do anything at that point. So I'm like, I gotta do this now. Tyler's so, gonna be mad at me. <laughs> no. So I was like, all right, let's. Uh, some something to eat and come back down. Um, I'm just looking for images at the moment, so if I, I know we're probably getting comments and whatnot. Yeah, I gotta have to check back on over that side. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything since the stack, but uh, yeah, right. Well, DD, I'm glad you actually saw the saw the tweet because I didn't think anyone actually paid attention to the Twitter page. <laughs> I I don't pay attention to mine. 
Yeah, I, I every now and then I'm just like, oh yeah, I have this thing. I yeah, this right. Thing. I mean, I, I I picked it up specifically for like art promotion and stuff, but totally forget about it most of the time. I've I've pretty much forgotten about my blog too. I'm like, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> it's hard hard enough to manage, you know, one or two things, let alone like, exactly. Wow. I'm pretty good with multitasking, but I mean, when it comes to social media, I, I mean, I usually pay attention to the, to the ones that get the most attention, and Facebook is the only one that really like blew up, and that's the, uh, that's the easiest one to see and maintain for me. So yeah. that's what I do. I mean, I have over, I think, a thousand something people in there. Nice. I'm getting there. I've got, uh, I think, like sixty-two. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, the, the um, I, I've been doing a lot of heavy promotion of it recently. I made a whole new end slate with uh, the the link, you know, right on it, so that uh, people will see. I don't even put Twitter and and, and Google Plus on it. I mean, I, I you know, I'm Google Plus for the Hangouts, but uh, not much anything else. Yeah. My Google Plus and my YouTube accounts aren't even linked because my YouTube account is so old. <laughs> well, I mean, not that old. It's like 2010 old, but... Well, that's older than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, is not there, like, any... I mean, there's a lot of cool pictures on here, but nothing that's like, oh my god, I want to draw that. That's why I usually just end up making up stuff. Yeah. Well, in some ways, it's better that way. Yeah. I find that you can miss a lot of subtle details, though. Ooh, what's this one? <laughs> yeah. And what's this one? I don't. I don't like those subtle details. <laughs> um. Let's see what's in here. I have a pretty good art book here with a bunch of different things in it. I got inspiration last time from it. I just took the composition of one piece and went to town with it. That's what I sometimes end up doing. I just don't even do the subject matter. I just like the composition, the way it looks, and do the same thing. All right, so that one doesn't have too much. Uh, oh, where's my other one? There it is. How's your painting coming along? Uh, it's slowly progressing. I spent uh, the majority of the morning doing uh, all the clouds and that kind of thing. Yeah, the clouds can take quite some time. Especially focusing uh, closer to a more realistic uh, That's style this time up. around. Yeah. Not cutting corners with my stylized uh, usualness. That's definitely the ticket. Yeah. You know, the, for time consuming clouds. But it definitely helps with the uh, with the live show since you're able to sit down and take up talk the time about doing it. it. Yeah. Yeah, I got a um, uh, comment on, on. I have a cloud video that's getting pretty popular, and one of the the people was like, "It takes you 18 minutes to draw clouds." <laughs> I'm like, "It usually takes me longer." 
but I, I kind of sped it up for a bit for the sake of the tutorial. But yeah, yeah, it 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 takes takes me that long. Was uh, it like a surprise that it takes you that long, or was it like a like only that long? Or what is I think it was more like it takes you that long. You should be better. I think it was kind of along the lines of, uh, which you know, whatever. I mean, everyone has their own sort of. Uh, uh, ideas for a time frame of what things should take you, but until so you actually get involved and into it, then you really see the amount of work that can be involved. Right. Okay, so I found something in one of my books that I have here. Have you ever done a jungle scene? Mm, no. Oh. JJ Art Studio is in the comments, though. Oh man! Asking, I guess, if I've seen what you put on media, I have. Uh, been a few things here and there recently. Um, I believe. I can't remember. <laughs> it, it's up there. Um, I I I've, I know I've seen it, but I know it's up there. You seem to be doing well. This webcam is—it's like such wide screen. It's unbelievable. I mean, like, the difference between, like, my main camera only captures the bare edges of th this paper, and right. the webcam, you can see it, it just, this Everything. whole area, yeah, it's just like, wow. I'm going to put up my lower third so that people, like, you know, come in here like, hey, who's that guy? <laughs> and, uh, that That's me. <laughs> Well, yeah. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm the one they, you know, don't they don't usually recognize. <laughs> uh, I've taken mine off just because it was only telling people that I have insomnia and that it's blocking the and it's like blocking the painting. So I'm like, you know what? I don't need two things going here at once that are going. I really should go upstairs and go get my sheet of paper that I was writing stuff down on earlier. Which I swear I'm right down here, but I, I don't see it anywhere. It's like probably like under here. No. Let's see if I move this out more. Move this down. That's a little bit better, I think. I wish I could turn off the autofocus on the webcam. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> Out of focus webcam. Uh, blurry. Blurry crap. Is it going to stay like this or is it going to get any better? I don't know. Oh, yeah, nice fancy webcam you have there. <laughs> right? Now, if I had the software working, I would turn off the autofocus instantly. So, I think what I'm going to have to do... See, it's not focusing on the paper because there's nothing to focus on, but if I... Maybe... No. Oh, no. <laughs> Doesn't like you. Well, if I have my hand in drawing here, it should oh. kind of sort of come back. But as soon as I take it away, it just goes... Yeah, yeah. We'll, start, we'll start drawing something then. Don't worry about it. Exactly. And I found something to draw, so I should be okay. Did you say it was snowing by you? Yeah, it is. We got like some like a half dusting, I think, right now. Ha half dusting. Half dusting. Gotcha. Is that a technical <laughs> term? Can, you can still see some grass, but you can still see some white. So, so half dusting is a technical term. Yes, it is. Okay. Just making sure I wasn't, you know, I, I, I don't know. 
I'm totally trolling you, by the way, but... I know. <laughs> So I, I I have a bunch of these art books uh, that I collected. I used to work at an art store. Yeah. And you yeah, so I mean, every once in a while they'd have these books on like massive clearance. So I have a bunch. <laughs> they would be like ten dollars. I get them for like two fifty. So I mean, that's it's like they're the well, it's not the store; it's the corporate. You know, their logic of clearance is. And I don't know, like dirt cheap, I guess. Seventy-five yeah. percent off, if not better. Hey, I'm not complaining. I always bought them when they went on clearance. I was the only one that would buy them. I don't know. I always, I just uh, pick them up. You know, you just need something to keep you inspired. Yeah, you can leaf through something and just be like, yeah, this sort of works. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a, a life drawing book over somewhere over there that I think I maybe maybe I've cracked once. Um, <laughs> I had a teacher. Here, you can have one of these if you want. I'm like, oh, um, thank you. <laughs> the sad thing is that I, I really haven't read too many of them. I, I really just looked at the step by step images and. Yeah. Just kind of see what they did, and then I'll try to replicate it. I mean, that's that's the majority of how I learned how to draw. I just see what they did and replicate it. That's by far the easiest way for me to learn. Yeah. Learn the ways of the drawing. That's probably you know one of my most asked questions. Where did you? Where, is my webcam still that blurry? <laughs> or is it getting better? Yeah, it might just be on. Let me take a look. I think you're fine. I think okay, I might just come before. So I'm watching the um, stream on this computer, and then I have the hangout on the other computer, and I'm just fine over there. And it's amazing how much the quality goes down from oh yeah the like the hangout window that you and I see from when it goes to YouTube it, it just goes to wow it drops it, it it goes from like a 480p to a 240 <laughs> like instantaneously it's like what? <laughs> yeah. 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 I've had uh, a few people ask me, you know, say, well, you know, why don't you get on Twitch? <laughs> because the quality there is amazing. You can, yeah. you can stream really high quality on Twitch TV. I've thought about it. Is it, is it, is it, a, is it a fairly new thing? I mean, I just I've noticed it coming up more. It's yeah. it's more of like a um, a live streaming website for video game players. Yeah. Not so much for artists, but. Um, there's there are a few artists that do it, and you know there's a lot of other people that are taking uh, to Twitch now as well. Taking notice. Yeah, I mean, because Google, see my webcam just it's all spazzed out on the over here, but not over there. Huh. What the heck is going on? There it goes. Hopefully it'll, uh, as soon as I get some subject matter on here, it should start to hold. Yeah. Hopefully, I mean, that's, that's... Hopefully I won't be asleep by then, but... Right. Hang on, let me fix this here. I'm going to decrease the size of these. I've been slacking off this week. <laughs> well, it's Thanksgiving week. Yeah. Um, 
all my friends are home from college. We're home from college. So. I got time to do nothing. What? I got time to do nothing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I haven't gotten anything done this week. It's just like, uh. What's is today? Wait, what's today? Sunday. Jeez. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought it was Saturday. And I was like almost happy for a second there. <laughs> wow, you can you can kind of tell how you know how how uh, out of it I am. Yeah. It's I, okay. I, I I usually it's like it'll be like Tuesday for me. I'm like, wait, what day is it? I like sit there for like five minutes. I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't know what day it is. Right. Yeah. So I meant to do a lot of work on Friday. But I woke up that morning and just did not feel right. It's just like, oh, I ate too much. No, well, that's what it probably should have been. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what ended up happening. That night I broke out with like a hundred and two fever. It's oh, like, man. what the hell is going on? That was, it was not fun. Yesterday I felt a lot better, and today I feel even better. So yeah, that's good. I'm gonna try and get stuff done today. I don't, I don't know why or what or I don't know, just I guess it's that old expression. Shit happens. Yeah. So. See my webcams, blurry again. Man, I gotta. Blurry. Hopefully, by the next time I do a stream, I can uh, get that uh, fixed up. So that's that's gonna be a problem down the road. Right. Uh, Ustream has a lot of artists, as uh, Willingham. Yeah, I've heard of Ustream. I think I was on it for like a month. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, right. Can't remember. No, no period of time long enough to warrant, uh, you know, uh, anything significant out of it, I guess. Yeah. It's also before I had a following as, as even as minutely big as I do now. So it didn't really take off. That's the thing. Um, to really warrant like an audience on there you need to have an audience presence somewhere else first to really get everyone to kind of get over there because mm -hmm. even sometimes having the audience here on YouTube can be tricky right. yeah because yeah even though you have a, an, an audience of you know a, a thousand or two um, it all depends on how many are online at that given moment in time, which usually isn't that many. Uh -huh. I, mean, I, I follow this computer channel that does uh, live events, but it's usually like late night, like West Coast time, by, by which it's like, I don't know, two in the morning here. And it's like, yeah. uh, I don't, it doesn't really work. What, what uh, channel is that? Um, Linus Tech Tips. Yeah, I watched that one too. Yeah, it was funny. I I, I caught uh, I think maybe fifteen minutes of, of their most recent one uh, the other day. Yeah, I watched it um, yesterday morning the one I put it up on YouTube. Yeah. But anyone that's like really into computers and technology, like. Ben and I, because we're absolute nerds. Uh, Linus Tech Tips has a really, really good channel, and he's a n really nerdy himself. He's yeah. funny. He like he he is like the pure definition of nerd. After after I I built my uh, computer, I found that, and I was just I just like went nuts watching watching all this stuff. Uh, he puts a video every day, and I watch every day. It's yeah. like the, that's. How good his content is! I mean, it's not even like really all that produced either. It doesn't have to be. No, they're um, they've been getting they've been getting better. They have like an intern or something. 
Well, yeah, he. I mean, he works stuff. at NCIX, which is a competitor of Newegg, and um. Yeah, it's only 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 sort of because it's like you know. It, it's a lot smaller it's, than it's Newegg. The, it's the Canada. Yeah. Uh, and the the U the U S version of the store is much smaller. But yeah, a bunch of the employees there help them with the content. It's pretty cool, though, that at your job, they pay you to make YouTube videos promoting the products that they're getting in. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I know a lot of stores like, do I'm that work now. For them, you know? Right? Yeah, it's a pretty sweet deal, what they're doing. It's It's pretty good. I, enjoy I, like when, I like when he's like, yeah, YouTube's not my job. I have a real job. <laughs> I have a real job. But uh, YouTube in itself is to maintain it and upload and answer comments. Yeah. It's a full-time job. For sure. And it really is. Takes a lot of work, a lot of dedication. Yeah, when I started uh, seeing the, the stuff that, that he does and, and the, the way he kind of pulls in the audience, I, I kind of took some influence to that on, on the, you know, I, you could say format of the videos and that kind of thing. And, yeah. Uh, being able to just to say something like the, or at the beginning and the end, like welcome and, and see you and whatever. Well, the one of the things I really like is is that uh, content that you that normally uh, people would uh, view as like blooper styled, he usually leaves within the video, so you yeah. get a lot of you know that oops sort of humor, you know that <laughs> that stuff that isn't supposed to be within the videos, which I think is really interesting. Yeah, it's uh, it's a unique twist. I I I've done that with I think maybe a couple of mine, but not enough to. Really, I I had a a video on brushes, on, on like the brushes I use and that kind of thing, and the the whole beginning of it is is me you know starting in the studio like I normally do, and then it's I, I'm like you know what I can't do this. It's too nice of a day. We're doing this video outside, so I just like move everything over. And, uh, yeah. Go from that side. Uh, with with me, it's I guess I I tend to plan it a little bit more, where other stuff's more spontaneous. Well, yeah, I think that's a better word to you know spontaneous is a really good way to explain what he does. Which you know it's good. Anything I mean, that you, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I was gonna say even if you're not into computers, I think it's worth checking out just to kind of see the. Presentation format and that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> or or lack thereof, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's what's I the thing that always gets me is his, his name is Linus, and anything like if if it's a size comparison or anything like he'll 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 say like here's a Linus hand. Yeah. To compare Arm to. Or whatever. Or a Linus leg, and he always wears socks with sandals when he goes to work. It's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. Just subtle things that he does. It's so funny. It's really good. Mm -mm. Uh, let me see if I can't go find my sheet from earlier. I was writing stuff down on the back. Those mountains are looking sweet. Uh, I gotta do some clouds on this drawing. Look, it goes blurry again. Like as soon as I take my hand away, the it goes blurry. It's unreal. If I could turn off the autofocus, I would believe me. But the software is being loopy, and I have a support ticket in with Logitech at the moment. Hopefully, they'll get back to me. But I hope you worked. I hope you worked out for me. I wasn't here. No, I wasn't talking to you. I was... Okay, good. <laughs> well, good. 
talking to however many viewers we have currently watching the stream. Uh, six. So we actually have four. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, I'll uh, see what I can do. Alright, so. I'll leave a comment and hopefully that'll drive in some traffic. Mm -hmm. I wonder how many of the like 9,000 some odd people are awake and. Yeah. It's amazing how you know, all of a sudden it's just uh, the amount of subscribers is just accumulating like crazy. I, I don't know what triggered it, but uh, I, I don't know. I'm maybe, maybe, happy you were, maybe you were suddenly featured somewhere that you don't know about. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I also am aware that they changed the uh, algorithms again on YouTube, and you know a lot of people are like again, but uh, they changed it in the favor of people that get a lot of viewer interactions and I, I usually get pretty good uh, feedback and interactions on, on my channel so I have a feeling that that might have something to do with it. Hmm. I mean they did that in the beginning of November and the beginning of November is, is pretty much when uh, all of a sudden I started gaining like 30 a day and like yesterday I gained over 50 I was like what the heck is going on? <laughs> you know I'm not about no, to start not, not that nothing you're angry. Yeah, I was going to no, say not that I'm it's, uh... not. It's like it's it's really cool. You know, uh, I'm coming up on three full years that I've been really uploading videos. But uh, as far as you know, that amount of time, it's really this year that I really have been uploading content, and it's really yeah. been showing you know how much of an audience you can really kind of grow after you know week after week. Right. of constant uh, attention and, and content uploading. Yeah, I mean, it's just the beginning of this year, I started doing more, you know, I did the week, started the weekly upload thing, and, and just started doing more uh, more consistent stuff. And uh, the biggest spike was after, I think, the first Hangout I was in, I had, I got like, a, oh, probably in the range of, of 20 or 30 within the course of a couple of days, and I was just like, Dude, <laughs> yeah, just like came out of nowhere, um, and uh, I've been pretty consistent getting uh, within the range of like between one and five throughout the course of the week, um, and that's just been pretty much like every week for the past I don't know nine months. So, yeah. I think in the beginning of the year I was doing like eight to twelve average per day. And towards the summer, I was doing more like 15 to 20. And that's more the end summer. And now my average is like 30 a day with the occasional high 40s, low 50s. Right. But it really makes me kind of curious as to what is really sort of pushing that. You know, that way I, you know, I can see and, and understand what it is. That way I can do more of what that is. But yeah. I'll take what I can. I don't um, know exactly what it is that you're getting with something like that. And that's uh, sort of a more vague. Yes, yes, it's spray paint. It's a bit of a cheat. Okay. I was going to say, you're going to do some uh, spray painting over there? Try not to do too much since I'm you know, inside. That makes everything smell for like forever. Yeah, I was going to say, you're going to get pretty high really quick over there. <laughs> I'm already high from that sleep on so. I just need to hit the center of this a little bit to give it that fog. Oh, that's pretty cool. Is that just white? Yeah. 
I see what you're doing there. You're kind of, yeah, giving it that distant that feel. Right. It's, it's easier than trying to layer on some washes. Right. Which you can do, but it doesn't have quite the same effect. It takes a little longer to dry, though. But uh, that, that's one of the things I really like about art is, you know, there, there's always one, at least one way of doing something. But mm -hmm. the other ways that you find of doing, you know, the same thing, uh, yeah. it just makes it that much more fun. Turn my fan back on. One of the uh, thing is, like, through the course of figuring out different uh, different painting methods and things, like uh, the way I paint stars, I actually learned from. Uh, Watching the space painters and the way they kind of spray them on the finger and sort of flick it on the on the yeah on the thing, I, I basically just found a way to adopt that by thinning out the acrylic paint and just sort of flicking them on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, at the the beach or at the shore, there um, there were a couple of guys that used to do that a, a while back. I haven't seen them there recently. I I haven't really gone down at all. And you know, uh, to that location in a, in a while. But uh, I, I actually I bought a couple. I have two spray paint art that I've uh, came. Yeah, you know, that I've gotten over yeah. the. Yeah, and it's what's nice is you know I mean they they sell them off pretty cheap, but they really could charge quite a bit for them. But you know the fact of the matter is they you know they make them within three or four minutes. Right. And they just make a fast buck doing it, which you know, it's it's easy. You know, it's quick money mm -hmm. if they get the audience going, and it's really entertaining to watch the yeah. people that do spray paint art. It's really cool. I always get a good kick out of that. But I think through finding uh, through watching art videos and stuff on YouTube, I'm, I'm able to 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 see different techniques and, and being able to, to sort of mimic that or, or, or adopt it in, in, the, in the own work to make it uh, more either realistic or, or not even in certain ways just to play around with that and, and eventually make it like a normal technique for me is really cool. That's yeah, that's one of the, the big things about watching other people on YouTube. You, know, you get to see how they do it. Everyone learns differently. So you just make yourself uh, more and more of an experienced artist, or you know, you just learn a lot more just from seeing and learning. I spend a lot of my time watching other people. Yeah, through the, I, you know, I watch a lot of a lot of other live hangouts. I know, um, Washed Up uh, does a lot with uh, the Tune Heads. I think his name is. They do the, the caricatures, and it's pretty funny to watch. Uh, comment from uh, Unbelievable M2 it says, uh, "Is this really live? You think you saw this painting with the blue clouds uh, already on Tyler's channel? I was working on it uh, last week, and it, the video is, is currently on Tyler's channel from that uh, live stream. So this is a continuation of that. So Yay. cool. Repeat viewers. Yay." Yeah, you you joined up uh, like a half hour before that stream came to an end. Yeah. No more. Well, I saw I saw Thad was in there, and I'm like, oh, I gotta say hi to him. It's been forever. Right. <laughs> and, I should work and, on something while I'm doing it. And Josh too was in. Yeah, I think I I missed that. But... No, you were there. Was I? Yeah, because you started talking with them about the quality of his paint. <laughs> oh yeah, I was I was getting on his case about that. And how you cringe about it. Right. Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> oh, what was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's one of the things. I mean, once once you're exposed to the qualities of different art materials, yeah, you'll never go back to the cheap stuff again. <laughs> it's right. No matter how much it costs you. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm by no means like wealthy at all, but <laughs> I, I'll I'll spend my paychecks just 
blow it all on like, different art supplies. I'm bad like that. I don't do it as much because I have pretty much everything that I wanted. Yeah. You know, I mean, but, to an extent, I'm comfortable. When I, whenever I, I need, whenever I need canvas or I need paint, it's like <laughs> I don't want to do it, but I have to do it. I get bad about that too. I mean, the, if if I'm in the art store, like like not like Michael's, but like the actual art store, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like I kind of get giddy just walking around the place, looking at everything. And then, yeah. And like, look at all this stuff that I can do amazing things with. <laughs> There's so much money. Um. I know the one by me, like uh, during the back to school, you know, they do one in the in the end of the summer and for the spring semester. They have if you buy like 20 or more canvases, you get 70 percent off. It's just like, what? That's ridiculous. And of course, by the time you buy 20 canvases, it's like automatically $100. Yeah. No matter what. And it's just like, oh, I'd spend $100 just to get that deal. You know, that, that this whole thing with, with saving 70%. You're not saving anything because you're spending money. It's like, it's like if you spend another $10, you get free shipping. You're like, oh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to spend money shipping anyway, so I might as well get some extra supplies as well for that price. I know it's just this hook, and, man. And then by the time the discount is, is is applied, you need to spend even more so you can keep the discount because the discount takes your price back down. And like, oh. <laughs> I know. It's, I I try to stay away from uh, stores, you know, electronic stores and art stores and stuff like that because it's like, well, I'm here. I, mean, I gotta get something. That's why I picked up uh, that wireless card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was like, well, well, I'm buying this cooler. I, I, I see a a fifty dollar wireless card for ten bucks, and uh, yeah, might as well. Oh my goodness! Yeah, right. Black Friday. Oh man. How many of you guys went out for Black Friday? I didn't. Yeah. I didn't any, go any, out. Any of you guys in the car, or or any uh, store? Anyone in the online? U.S. U.S. or I think Canada kind of does a little bit of that too, here and there. Canada does it now too. Yeah, they definitely do. Or if you shopped online and you found a good deal. Amazon has a lot of good deals. Yeah. I and uh, about that. Uh, anyone who's a gamer, uh, Steam has a lot of good sales going on as well too. <laughs> Steam. Yeah. Steam. Yeah. <laughs> Steam always has ridiculous sales. What sucks though is you can only play it with Steam. You can't like you don't uh, own the game. If if Steam goes bankrupt, your games are gone. That's why I prefer to get the disc on everything I buy. Yeah. Yeah. Then, I well, then used it's like, to then, be it's like, like that. then it's like if you for some reason like change your computers then you have to like buy it again to so tell. The one thing I've realized is that it starts to become inconvenient to get a disc now. I know as, as lazy as that, as that sounds, it really <laughs> does. Because all you gotta do is click buy, download, done. I did it with uh, a couple things recently. I know I'm gonna argue about it later, but it, uh, it's just like, oh, that was easy. Right. Yeah, I don't, I don't do the uh, digital downloads I, I think, from anywhere that, else. That, that digital download thing, it, it, it kind of promotes impulse buying. It definitely is an impulse buyer because you don't have to go out and do it. You just all you got to do is click the button and you have it. I actually went and bought a few songs from Amazon um, a couple months ago, and I, that's the first time I've ever done that. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> but, but I immediately realized, like, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, this could be a problem very quickly. <laughs> Could you imagine, like, uh, in some way, shape, or form, they, they like, do, uh, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, you can buy art supplies. I mean, not, like, they ship it to you, but, like, it, like, digistructs, <laughs> like, you know, in, you know, uh, I, I like, some sort of, uh, in, like, object in your house. Like, I, I don't know how to even 
like know what to call this thing because it's like the technology isn't around yet for it. Right. All I can remember is like these movies. I don't. I think it might have been like an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, and I know how bad some of those movies can be. But uh, it may have been that movie. I don't know. But um, like they open a refrigerator, and the refrigerator says, "You are low on milk. Who would you like more?" And they click <laughs> yes, and all of a sudden the milk like comes through some hose and fills up their uh, container of milk, and like you are now full on milk. I'm just like what? I mean, uh, it's it, it'll be pretty funny if that if that ever arises, and you can really sort of gauge how uh, uh, simple life can kind of get for you. You don't even have to go to a store anymore to get soup uh, to get food. But, you know, we'll, oh, be, we'll be taken over by China long before that happens. Or you can um, uh, what's it called? Uh, and Back to the Future in the second one where they just put this little disc inside this microwave, <laughs> push one button, like pizza. it turns into this huge pizza. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> We've got, what, uh, maybe two or three years before we're supposed to have hoverboards? So. No, that, that actually, uh, pa- that date passed already. Oh, did it? Yes, it, it passed okay. it a little while ago because I saw a couple memes on it. And, yeah, they never came up with the hoverboard yet because <laughs> they had them everywhere. Like, scientists, you have three months or something like that. Yeah. Well, no, because the, 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 the year they went to was, I think, 2015. Or was it 2015? I don't know. I thought it was 2012. Wikipedia. Right? I don't know. Does anyone know what year that uh, uh, Doc Brown and Marty McFly go to uh, the future? Surprised, I still remember their names. It was a great trilogy. I I have the trilogy. I have it on DVD. I'm jealous. It was an impulse buy, but yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I have them. Let's see. It's totally worth it, though. There were, there were, I'm trying to think of one of the things that was an impulse buy that was an art supply. Oh, I bought watercolors on impulse buy. <laughs> I think my uh, venture into acrylic mediums was an impulse buy, but it was a good one because it was so worth it. And I use them now all the time. Same with uh, oil paint for me. Gosh, it's like 250 bucks later. <laughs> <laughs> oil is expensive, dude. It is. Plus the brushes. Oh my goodness. I get I get weird like if I'm near like the brush selection place in, in, a, in a store, I'll, I'll like, like want to feel all of them. <laughs> <laughs> like oh man, this one's soft. Oh, this one's really soft. Oh, but this one's nice and stiff. You're that guy. Yeah, I'm that guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm the weirdo that the employees look at going, oh, you know. What's that guy doing? Oh, it's just the most honest. You'll probably also be the guy that unscrews the oil paint and starts smelling it. No, 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 no. Because that stuff is pretty potent. Where the turpentine. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine some guy just sniffing oh, turpentine? God. That stuff is like, oh my goodness, that stuff is like <laughs> potent. And toxic. Yeah. Fish. It's like that kid in kindergarten that eats a tub of paste. There's always that kid. We had one. I don't know. You, you kind of look like that kid. I, I look like the kid that would eat paste? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's the hair. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I, I wasn't. I don't. Yeah, I don't remember ever doing that. But I think I might have. I think I might have told somebody told me that I was I I was that me. <laughs> <laughs> you were that guy. <laughs> I think I might have been that guy that ate the paste. Oh man. Man, this looks like a golf course. <laughs> I got like this big brownish. You should uh, make the oh, item. No, the, like the foreground's up on rocks, right? Yeah. You should definitely put like a green, uh, not a green, but like a, a flag with a flag. golf ball just kind of sitting there, ready to go. <laughs> that would be like a golfer's paradise, man. And sell it for millions. 
My brother would love it. Exactly. We getting comments? I have to refresh here. I don't know. JJ is going shopping. <laughs> At least it's not Black Friday anymore. There's already a bunch of videos up on YouTube of people just going crazy over stuff that's not even really that good of a deal. Yeah. Oh, the, the stuff I love, though, I mean, I'm a frequent shopper on Amazon.com just because of how cheap they are and yeah. two-day free shipping. It's ridiculous. But um, a lot of the flyers, I was, I was looking for a new printer uh, this time around just to see what, what's around here because my printer broke down. And I'm, uh, I mean, uh, my other family members have printers, so I can easily just load stuff on a flash drive and yeah. uh, just print on their computers. You know, that's, that's fine. I can do that. But I was just looking to see what kind of a great deal I can get. And what's funny is, you know, they had this one. It was, it was like they had listed for two hundred bucks, and it was a pretty good deal. When on Amazon, they had it for one seventy. I was like, what? Yeah. You know, it's not even worth trying to go to the store and have them price match because you still got to pay tax on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. Oh you're, oh, you're that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm that guy. I don't want to pay tax. <laughs> Is that such a bad thing, man? I don't know. No, I'm just, I'm just I'm a troll. <laughs> yeah, there's, I, I, uh, this is definitely the first year that I really started to take YouTube seriously, so I, I picked up a lot of different uh, pieces of equipment and software and things like that. I'm glad I did it this year, because I hear that next year they're going to start forcing every online company in the country to charge tax no matter what. Oh, wow. Which is gonna suck. So I'm glad I did everything that I did this year. Yeah. In that case, I'm so, in that case, I'm glad I did too. <laughs> yeah. So I'll still get stuff on there. Yeah. Two day oh, free yeah. shipping. It's a good deal. Really good For deal. Sure. I do. Uh, I, any, anything that's like not specifically like an art or computer thing, it's it's usually Amazon for me. It's like some yeah. r random thing. It's like, oh yeah, go to Amazon. I even bought my entire computer off Amazon. I usually get it off Newegg. Huh. But uh, Amazon was significantly cheaper for some reason. So I just went with them. So, you know. Right. Okay, I look like a golf course now. <laughs> <laughs> that may, may not be, be a bad thing. The golf course. Probably gonna run this show for about another half hour, tops. What's that? So I'm probably gonna run the live thing for about another half hour, the tops. Starting to fall asleep over there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I gotta work on my Mountains in the Mist series more. I haven't done anything since I've done drawn in the mountains, and that video <laughs> isn't even out yet. Like I said, I was slacking off last week, you know, Thanksgiving and everything, so. Right, yeah. That and. Friday's weird fever I came down with. God, I came out of left field, you know, you know, not even expected. But uh, you know, you were you were down with the sickness. Yeah. It's uh, what it disturbed. <laughs> Band that 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 song. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was disturbed. But yeah, I haven't had something like that since I was like in elementary school. So, oh, well. it wasn't fun experiencing it again, but it happens, no, I guess. Okay. Getting old now. <laughs> Getting old. <laughs> Man, am I? Are you older than I am? No, I doubt it. How old are you? I'm not gonna say. <laughs> oh. Okay. No, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm 22. 
20. You're a year older than me. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm 21. Wow. I See, I thought you were, like, late 20s. People think I'm 28. Yeah, that sounds... I don't know. It just seems to come across that way. So it's kind of funny. Uh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> What is it that you do, by the way? At the moment, I'm just uh, kind of chilling. No, I mean, uh, <laughs> like for for a job. Well, I w I did work at an art store. Yeah, I know that. I mean, <laughs> that was um, uh, about two months ago. I I was okay. until I stopped doing that. Uh, that was in anticipation of going to an art school and then finding out that, holy crap, it's going to put us in so much debt that it's probably not going to be a good idea. Uh, that, that's just something I really would like to do, but uh, it, at this moment in time, as much as I'd love to do that, I don't know how great of an idea, per se, that would be. I, I want to do uh, something that might be a little bit more uh, secure or easier to find a job, I guess you can say so. All right. Uh, uh, in two weeks, uh, you know, everything so far is, is pretty much set in stone. So uh, what I'll be doing in about two weeks is going to um, uh, a one-year school. I'm going to get my A-plus certification for computer diagnostics and repairs mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Nice. So, I mean, a lot of you know me for being an artist, but I'm also <coughs> very much of a geek I do the, you know, even Ben, you know, we both yeah. do the whole computer thing. The this, build yeah, and maintain. I, I just got really into it. It's so much fun, dude. It is. It really is. I just it's, sit there. I, I realized at one point that it's a lot like how guys will get together and like work on a car. <laughs> and, and be like... <laughs> really in into like a certain part of like oh this looks so cool with the edges it's like it's like a new graphics card comes out and you're like oh, <laughs> oh my it's, goodness it's the same it's it's like cars for nerds I, I, I'm sure that those people that work on cars would not appreciate what you're saying no, probably, right probably not but in, although in, in some ways. Well, I guess it depends on what kind of car. But a classic car is for sure they would not enjoy what you're saying. But people oh, no. into the newer base cars, I mean, there's a lot of electronics in those. So I guess they can kind of uh, relate to some degree. There's a lot of electronics in cars now. Ridiculous amounts. Got a comment in it. I freaking love Disturbed. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the one that's down with the sickness song. It's Disturbed. Right. There was a... Uh... There's this guy by the name of Richard Cheese who does, does he make like, cheese? lounge, club-style, like, jazzy versions of, of, like, popular songs. And he, he has the, the lounge version of Down With The Sickness, which is slower. <laughs> and what's, what's, fun, what's funny about it is that when you slow something down, you, you hear the lyrics more. And you're like, this is really yeah. weird. Yeah, it's he like, did, oh, that's uh, what he said? <laughs> he did Down with the Sickness, he did Baby Got Back. Uh, it, it's, all in this, it's all in this, like, lounge singer, like, 40s, 50s, you know, genre. Oh, um, is this guy on YouTube? Oh, I don't know, probably. I just know that I, first I heard of him was, I don't know, like, four or five years ago or something. But. Because I, I recently heard of a guy that, that, Takes today's songs and like does like a 1950s rendition of them. And it, I it, could be, it could be it could be the same guy. Definitely worth looking up, Richard Cheese. It might, uh, or it could be some other one that adopted yeah. what he was doing and, and kind of oh. turned it a little differently. You know, people are always uh, a lot of inspiration out today is found from other I people. Saw, I, I, was, I was watching some Vsauce the other day. Yeah, Thad got me hooked on that. <laughs> yeah. Oh me my too. goodness. And that there was there was one that talks about how certain music sounds the same. And yeah, I, just, I watched that one. Yeah. And so I then then I got so I saw the the, the part that was uh, uh, 
like a mashup with with Gilligan's Island and Stairway to Heaven. Yeah. And it was I'm like then like this is amazing. <laughs> if you watch, uh, uh, there's a video link. Uh, it's shown in the video where they have these guys. Uh, they like do like. Forty or some different songs with the same. Yeah, like I, 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 I see. I saw that before. Uh, I saw I the Beast Mode thing, and I'm yeah. like, it's like some of them are just a bit of a stretch. You know, it's like okay. Yeah, well, it's still pretty cool to see. Yeah. Definitely interesting. Yeah, Vsauce is. Uh, it's like. Uh, they they just give you a bunch of scientific facts and stuff that's yeah. just really interesting to to know about. It's it's like the the questions that nobody asked. Get answered. Exactly, and the questions that they asked are fascinating. Like yeah. they said that like out of all the Facebook users right now, they said like thirty million registered Facebook users are deceased. <laughs> it's like Man. you know, it's, it, yeah, it just, at one point you're like, why do we need to know this? And at the same exact point, it's like. Wow, that's actually really interesting to know that because Facebook yeah. has not you know, been around for that long. A friend of mine, uh, his older brother was uh, he was a, a soldier in Iraq and he was killed and he keeps he keeps the fan page or keep the fan page, yeah, keeps the uh, his his brother's uh, Facebook page open to sort of to keep his memory alive. Yeah, think, well, that's that's the thing. Cool. I mean, it's an archive now. It's what it does. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that's why a lot of people do that. I guess they're going to need, like, a status update, like, dead. I'm supposed to get, like, really morbid. I'm a little disturbed by that funny. Because it has your birthday. I know. It would need, like, an end. Like, you have the timeline going now, and it's, like, boring, and then it's, like, join Facebook, and the day and everybody's, like, dead. Like, died on right. and it. And it shouldn't be funny, but it's... Yeah, right, and, uh... Well, it's the way you said it, dead. <laughs> dead. Well, yeah. No, it would be interesting, um, though. Yeah. No, it's just, you know, it's... Alright, I'm not doing happens. anything else on this piece. I, don't, I, don't, I basically don't want to pour any more paint out at this point. You're done with the golf course? Because I've gone... <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Hey, man, I'm, I'm going to be the first to say it's not going to be a bad thing if it turns out to be like a golf course. <laughs> no. It's, golf it's courses have beautiful landscapes, man. One of the one of the hardest things, I think, in, in working on a piece is uh, working on it and not... Like not like immediately thinking, oh, this is terrible because it's not done. Yeah, but, uh, well, that's what happens. I mean, I've you're looking at something. It's not done yet. I have to keep going. Yeah, and so you have everything that uh, compared to everything else within the drawing, uh, as in with it being complete, um, it's gonna look off. Yeah, like it the always way will. The golf course, if you will, is comparing to the clouds, which are pretty much done. It's like this is wrong because you know, these are done and these aren't. Exactly. So it's yeah. It's always going to offset everything else, and it kind of plays with your mind, man. It's crazy, man. Well, I imagine you got the clouds done. That's about it in this one. Yeah. Um, at least the autofocus isn't going like herp derp anymore. At least I don't think it is. <laughs> Gosh, I hope that they uh, give me some sort of reply uh, one of these days. <laughs> It'll be like by, like you you'll get rid of the printer and they're like hey we got back to you or, or not the printer the webcam you get rid of the web webcam like hey we got back to you like oh thanks yeah right a little late yeah a month later hey we heard you have a problem with webcam I'm sorry I already returned it <laughs> but thanks for the solution <laughs> I don't know if it would work, would work or not, but overall, the, the quality of this one is still better than the, the last one I had. I guess it, it depends on what you do, I mean, because what you're doing right now, the, the quality I can see is, is pretty good. But, um, I mean, I have a lot of lighting here, but my camera isn't really picking that up. I guess I, if I had the settings, I can always adjust the brightness, because what I'm doing is a lot brighter than what I'm seeing on my YouTube screen, for sure. Right. So I'd have to adjust that. I was even mentioning before, I just the way that uh, I don't know, I guess the way the camera is. I was picking up. All, you may not be able to see all the the subtle parts of the clouds in the same way. I can't. I can see some cloud definition, 
Not much, but I see a lot of detail within the uh, the mountains and the, the golf course you have going there. Right. <laughs> Which it looks good. I like it. I gotta get like I gotta get a picture of this before I do anything else. And have like and Photoshop me like way in the back going like it's a golf course. Yeah. Or you know, just holding that, that flag on the green where the yeah. hole is. And then yeah, have like another yeah. copy of yourself, just whack, you know, have the ball just soaring have, in the have, air. Have, have, you, have you putting it into the thing and I'm holding the flag? You'd have to have like a magnifying glass to see the detail of that though, because it'd be so far away. Well, if I'm feeling awake enough tonight, maybe I'll do a part two. Yeah, I need to uh, do more you of need, my. You need drawing. to get work done. What? You need to get some work done. So. Yeah, I've been uh, slacking off. I mean, I can edit another video, but I need to start the, the you're, you're, next you're, part you're, to do you're that. YouTube work. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm gonna have to end the broadcast. Uh, no problem. There's uh, those of you guys that are watching. Thanks for joining me and us. I guess in this case. Yeah. Um, this was episode two. Uh, there might be episode two, part two, uh, later today, but don't count on it. <laughs> See when you wake up. <laughs> that's, that's seriously just like if I wake up and I'm not like completely out. A zombie. Um. Yeah. I I want to give a good conclusion here, but I totally can't because I'm just out of it. So. Um, <laughs> You 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 know this is a band from the Indie Film. I have to say it anymore. <laughs> right. Oh my goodness. I just end that on like every video. <laughs> Sounds like you if, definitely if, need. If, if you're if you're looking for a good video, I already have an insomnia video. So if you don't understand how I'm feeling, go watch that one on my channel. <laughs> I don't know, I don't even know. Let me. Th Figure out what it's called first. He's just called like insomnia. So just search that. I'm sure you'll find it. Yeah. Wikipedia. <laughs> I, I think that to the ultimate goal to be like online famous would be to have like a Wikipedia page. Right, your own Wikipedia. But but not that like I would make it like have somebody else make it. You know? Yeah no, if you make it yourself, it's kind of that's just depressing. <laughs> but, but to but to be like online one day and just be like, whoa, somebody made a Wikipedia page out of me or something. Exactly. It'd be crazy. <coughs> I thought I was gonna end it. I totally didn't even end it. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, hope to see you guys next week. See